microphone. You're ready? And I think actually we might just put this a little bit closer. Because this is where you get the. Yeah. Thank you. And I will just put up my. Unfortunately, you can't see the, the real packaging in ERL, but the audience can see them. Um, well, from the other side, I work at Vice as a project manager. So, welcome all to this seminar. I will talk about the perfume uh, packaging, or, or several. Uh, the perfume inspired uh, the story of uh, this packaging concept. And this, uh, these were created by uh, graduate students uh, from Academy, Elin Steed and Molly Lundstedt. They made a great job. But uh, start from the beginning. Uh, well, when the earth was created, then we had only nature and nature's, nature's uh, different packaging. And uh, that provided and inspired us humans to create protection for our goods and, and food stuff. Uh, so we can say that with earth, we began our packaging story. And many of nature's packaging are created to contain and to, uh, to protect. In the case of the, the acorn, it's easy to carry home. It's uh, easy to store. It may be a little bit hard to open, but if you have the right tools, it's, it's okay. Uh, when you want to get disposed of it or, or rid of it, you, it will degrade in the soil and uh, nurture it, of course. It's good for mushrooms anyway. And if you not open it, and after shelf life, it, it could grow new life from it. Uh, so it's kind of a circle of life in this. And, uh, Packaging. Well, there are different roles of a packaging, of course. There are some of them. Uh, this were to, to contain, to protect, to preserve, uh, to facilitate handling, both uh, for transportation and in the stores and for you as consumers. Uh, and inform, of course, what's in it, how long will it uh, have shelf life, and how to get rid of it, and uh, what, how to recycle, and so on. So, but, but, but what could we learn here? Well, the, to create packaging that comes from the nature, are sustainable and can be returned to nature without harming it. That's our goal, isn't it? Uh, we have, at Rice, we have a long experience of working with the designers to develop packaging solutions and, and demonstrators, uh, which is an excellent way of visualizing uh, and communicate research and development findings. It's also a way uh, to discover that materials can uh, have many different expressions and many applications, of course. And, uh, together with designers, we, we uh, have developed a number of demonstrators, as you can see in the picture. And uh, they are examples of how packaging can be able to meet different demands put on it and show our different skills, of course, the uh, material research, packaging development and design. We have the textile like paper, we have mechanoactive paper that will react on heat and pressure, self-opening packaging. We have bar barriers that can be printed on different parts of the packaging um, and uh, the different properties. And uh, of course, the electromagnetic shielding and so on. These are just some examples. But what we worked with in these small packagings was corrugated board. And it's not the, the sexiest material, I believe. But uh, it is a fantastic material. It's fairly sustainable. And uh, we have also a, a fantastic uh, machine at Rice called FEX, where we can make paper uh, that can be uh, put in this uh, corrugated board and, and to, to uh, experiment on how we can combine different kind of materials. And we have a bunch of talented researchers who want to, to test new possibilities with materials, of course, also with well-known and, and well-used materials like corrugated board. Um, we, in, in this uh, um, project, we had both virgin fibers 
we had fibers from uh, eucalyptus and we had recycled fibers that we could use. Challenges to uh, increase print quality, quality was there as well and to test uh, different fluting instead of the, the corrugated one, test how could we use the stretchability of paper to create uh, fluting that could give other properties to the paper. So our graduate students, um, uh, Malin and Elin, this, uh, this was the starting point. We had the materials uh, and uh, they had to show the potential of uh, our corrugated board development. And these, uh, these are examples of, of our expanding corrugated board research within RISE as well. So I said, the facts look like this. It's a, a paper machine, a pilot paper machine. And uh, we manufactured all the materials used uh, for, for this packaging on, on uh, this machine. Both the liner and the fluting was made for, from the same paper for the free third packaging. And uh, we had a two, two uh, layer liner with uh, better or hopefully better printing qualities that's what we, we wanted to test anyway. And we tested various fiber additives where, uh, to, to add it to the top layer uh, to investigate how the printing properties could be improved. And uh, the results are clearly visible. Uh, and I will show you a little bit later the pictures. After this, uh, we started the lab scale development had the very um, simple stuff to use, actually. Our uh, uh, students came up with the idea to use a vacuum cleaner to, to hold the paper in place. And I hope that the, um, the video that I will show you can be seen for you as well, it's not present here. Um, let's try it then. The large part of the challenge lay in the limited size of the corrugated board panels. And uh, in order to come up in size, Elin and Malin decided to, to make a two part package. Um, so what could fit in a small package like this? Well, it is not larger than this. They uh, had a, a, a tour, in study tour in, in stores. And they had a pretty good picture of how corrugated board is used. Well, in addition to display stands and trays and secondary packaging, corrugated board is uh, available for um, home and interior segment. Uh, delicate products such as glass usually have a primary packaging in corrugated board. Even heavier items like pots are packed in this material. They wanted to show that corrugated board can also have areas of use, for example, in the beauty segment. And with thinner qualities, you can uh, create smaller and more elegant packaging, which compared to cardboard has more protective properties. Better durability and uh, create added value for the customer. For example, through a second use, maybe you like the packaging, you will use it for other, other things as well. So uh, the perfume, perfume packaging were chosen as demonstrated. And we, uh, we have experience, as I, as I said before, of, of working with the, the designers, which is a very positive experience. Um, and uh, we, we, uh, it's easier to, to find out what is possible, technically possible, if you create the demonstrators and, and the different applications. Um, and it is, also, of course, very important when you come up with new materials to able, be able to show what potentials you have in materials. Well, this is a sent by rice. We have the soft light wood, which is made of virgin fibers, uh, entirely of soft wood. And Elian and Malin gave uh, the strongest quality, the most powerful scent of the 
uh, also. So, and the graphic should bear the thought of pine, the yellow shades, and the warm feeling as well. And the eucalyptus, it's uh, pure, like the fragrance of eucalyptus, uh, but it's also a, a little bit, yeah, it's made in paper mix, of course, with soft wood as well, but not as strong as the soft wood alone. And I don't know if, if you know, but uh, the eucalyptus fields, they uh, have um, kind of um, air in the morning. They will, they will uh, let go of, of uh, colored, what you call it? It's mist, yes. Uh, and, and that was what we inspired Ellen and Malin to get the color for this packaging. And the, the third one is renewed like nature, entirely made of, of recycled uh, fibers. Um, and uh, well, the cologne is the, the weakest of the perfume, uh, of these three anyway, that we uh, reflect the, the strength of the paper as well. The new and better uh, material properties uh, open brand new applications um, and uh, based on the design brief that uh, please place the restrictions on the size of the packaging uh, Elin uh, thought that this the packaging for, for perfume was a good demonstrator uh, because it is a challenge to make small packaging as well not just large packaging as I said before, the thinner uh, board qualities uh, uh, makes it possible to create elegant uh, packaging anyway. So the perfume inspired this story, this packaging concept. And uh, as I showed you before, we made uh, two layer um, materials as well it was after this this project so as a continuation of the story we we uh, want to improve the, the properties of the liner and made a two layer um, paper that the, the, the outer layer was made of, of uh, white um, recycled fibers and the the, uh, the other layer was of brown uh, like the, the old packaging and uh, you and the audience can can uh, look at the packaging afterwards and, and compare the, the printability uh, issues and the quality after speech. As I said also we, we use different fiber based additives just to, to be sure that the sustainability of the material will still be there. In the second part, the continuation, we also try to, to uh, uh, use other lining, uh, fluting, sorry, in, in the, the packaging. And we experimented with different patterns for embossing. Uh, oh, sorry. So embossing uh, fluting instead of corrugating. It gives the, the advantage that the packaging will hold a load in both directions. So it doesn't matter if you have standing up or if it's laying down, you can pack it in a better way. Uh, the pattern was created with different zones and angles. And uh, this is just one example of how it would look like. So there is a great deal of uh, possibilities to explore still. Uh, both the fibers that can be used uh, mixed with bioplastics to gain better properties when it comes to both moisture sensitivity and stretchability, to improve print quality even more, uh, to be able to customize uh, packaging for e-commerce and so on. Uh, as I said, this, this is an ocean of possibilities. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sandra. Uh, this is an exciting.